3 a.m. Been waiting for this morning for probably two years. Today is the day. The summit will be done. We've actually done it. Packing for a six month journey would be hard at the best of times, but it's even harder when you're packing for a whole different country. Now yeah, we're ultralighters. Angel? Steak mode Yes, Third we did that. Third corner at 90 degrees. Okay, wait, so, so... After years of preparation, we finally found ourselves at the California-Mexico border. We were about to start our 2,655-mile hike on the Pacific Crest Trail to Canada. First marker of many. We've already picked up a friend. His Daichi. name is Daichi, or Daich. Oh. He doesn't speak much English. <laughs> but we're going to help get him to... try and get him to Julian. Hopefully. Where's Tokyo? Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo. Sweet. Let's do it. He is a cowboy after all. Yes, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's decided then. <laughs> Look at the gang. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so good. I'm so glad I bought my potatoes. <laughs> With that first spectacular sunset, we all drifted off to sleep. But everyone's mind was on the same thing. Hail and even snow, making a rare cameo in the- California had received a record-breaking winter snowfall, and we were heading straight for it. Spirits are always high at the start as everyone settles into their new lifestyle. We would hike and camp on trail for three to five day sections then hitch to the nearest town to resupply for the next stretch. The wet winter luckily meant a desert super bloom and short water carriers, but we soon found out the weather would continue to be weird. So despite what everybody tries to tell you on YouTube, it's not all fun and games. PCT isn't always dry. Turns out the desert isn't always dry. We've got a bit of a summer, spring shower and it's quite cold. It's not always easy. Not always sunny. Not always sunny. Little did we know this would become our trail mantra. We were lucky to be allowed to camp out in the local community center while the storm passed. Stories have been trickling back from other hikers about the San Jacinto section. There were tales of ongoing blizzards, rescues, and injuries, but we tried not to let that slow us down. We're maybe two thirds of the way up San Jacinto. It's pretty hot and it's pretty steep. A lot of people we know on the trail got to the peak and then skipped the ramp or have skipped the whole thing. But we've got our gear and we're confident, so we're hoping to push all the way through. Watch out for that hole I fell in. <laughs> Hooray! The snow was a little nerve-wracking at first, but we pulled through by teaming up with some other keen hikers. Just walked over the snow bridge, 5 a.m. Real, real mountaineers. Real mountaineers, that's fucking right. That one there. When it warms up a bit, I don't think it's a good idea to go past. Agreed. Snow's behind us. Oh. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Nearly. But now we're back in the desert for a little while. Well, On Big dry Bear. Dry ground. Dry ground again. Next stop, Big Bear. But not before a quick game of wiffle ball with Coach and the gang in the shadow of the mountain.
throughout the desert, there was frequently trail magic, which was always welcome. So we're coming up to Baden Powell, the second really major peak of this trail. A lot of concern because of the snow, but we're basically mountaineers now. We summited San Jacinto, so we're ready to go. We should be up there in about two days time. Summit raves can't last forever, so on we hiked. We have to skip our first section of PCT because of a frog. Who are we doing this for? Uh, the frogs. The frogs. All together. Who are we doing this for? The frogs. the frogs. We relied on the kindness of passing strangers to hitchhike into nearby towns to resupply. It was a bit scary at first, but soon it became second nature. The locals were always very friendly and willing to help for the most part. Come on, man, scram. Town days were frequent early on. We would satisfy our hiker hunger, resupply for our next stretch, and maybe do some laundry if we had time. Where are we? Is this what you thought? Crossing the Mojave Desert is a major PCT landmark. Walking out to take on this desert. Really got a squat in tow. Most hikers choose to do it at night to escape the intense heat. We pressed on towards Kennedy Meadows, but our trail family had ballooned. Goes in, or at least Four or five of them. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> okay. and There's a few of us. Uh Trail families are groups of hikers that band together in mutual weirdness. You may have only known these people for a few days, but on trail that feels like a few years. Well, today is our last official day in the desert. We are coming into Kennedy Meadows today. It's just after mile 700. And then after that, it's basically the gateway into the Sierras. They've received about 300% of the normal snowpack mounts, but now we can see way in the distance. Proper mountaineering, a lot higher risk conditions. So many hikers are opting to flip so skip the Sierras and maybe come back to it. Don't really have the time to slow down that much. Groups that are going through the Sierras now are going maybe 10 to 15 miles per day. We're going comfortably around 25. Yeah, we just don't have the time and also we want to enjoy the Sierras. So we are flipping. Technically the last of the desert. Burger, burger, <laughs> feed me. You can't even think. <laughs> no, let's get it. <laughs> I've seen this on so many videos, <laughs> so many YouTube videos. It's like surreal. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. Nice work. Way to go. Yeah, give us a bump. Somebody grab a photo. Everyone had different plans for the Sierra, so we had a farewell party with our Desert Trail family before we went our separate ways. First day out of Kennedy Meadows. We are not going through the Sierra this year until probably August, but we are walking over to Lone Pine just to get a little sample of it. How are you feeling about everything? I'm tired and I don't like this beer can. <laughs> she's got three whole days of food and she's already, <laughs> she's already kicking the can, so to speak. 
that's what time we woke up, okay? Holy shit. yourself rest. Ah! So we are leaving the Sierra and skipping up to Chester and then hiking the rest of the way north. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll be back here in September. Not all good. September. Yeah, I was getting there. Ready for a dip? We just had an enormous breakfast. We got caught in a massive hailstorm last night. And the day before. And the, and day, the day before. And the day before. <laughs> getting to Reno tomorrow. Welcome to the hostel, California. We made our way out to the Eastern Sierra to head north yes. around the snow. I love it. We did decide to make the most of the summer snow and head to Lake Tahoe for a little ski break. A little side quest from the PCT. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but our holiday had to come to an end. We had work to do. We're walking through Northern California after skipping up. So this is about our sixth day after we skipped. And we're walking through some of this NorCal forest and it is the most green that I have ever seen, I think. That did not last long. The forest fires of the last five years have really devastated large sections of trail in California. We're on a 13 mile climb in the burn zone. It's not pleasant, there's not much else to say. The combination of forest fires and wild weather means there are endless blowdowns in NorCal. No. PCT rite of passage <laughs> in the truck Thousand bed. miles later, finally got a truck hitch. First truck hitch. Well, first truck bed hitch. Thoughts? Hope I don't get car sick. Oh, you're definitely gonna get car sick. <laughs> she gets so car sick so quickly. We tried to enjoy this section of trail, but it's hard to see how much it's changed in the last few years. Just some of the unique things about PCT 23. I cannot escape the snow. Hiking in the snow with bug nets on <laughs> and still getting absolutely swarmed. Look at her, she's covered in bugs. PCT 23, there is snow escape. Though we have sort of cheated to get here by Not flipping. Cheated, we've flipped. We've, it's not sorry, cheating. we've flipped. It's not cheating. We finally made it to the Oregon California border. But we'll be back. We'll be back. Oregon was a blur, not only because we hiked it in two weeks, but because we were under siege by mosquitoes. Mosquito skeets. It's rough out here. We knew not to. But eventually, we just gave up and ate in our tent, including lunch. With a view. So what we did was we What do you think? I think we don't have to cook dinner tonight. <laughs> no dinner required. It wasn't all bad. Between the swarms of bugs, there was trail magic and lake swims to keep us sane and motivated. We were in the land of volcanoes and felt like we were heading into Mordor. Just a regular, regular old lunch. 
Definitely no spirits, red rum, or weird mazes or anything. Totally normal. Picked up some old friends. <laughs> we started the trail with Dutch way back in SoCal. We finally caught him. <laughs> Car's coming. Welcome to Washington. We were finally in the mountains after walking all of the flattest parts of the trail. We also caught a bunch of people that started the same day we did. And we celebrated appropriately. <laughs> Trail angels are kind souls who volunteer time, energy, food, and sometimes even their own homes to help us hikers. Because of their generosity, we're able to rest and recover or do some much needed laundry. The food is. I'm clean, okay? I'm clean. You, you, you won. Had a shower. Cleaned off all the gunk and grime. And now I'm clean. <laughs> Trail angels can be individuals, groups, organizations, or just anyone wanting to help the through hiker community. <laughs> Squeaky. Yeah, it's like a cartoon character. We're at the Washington Outline Club. A cabin built in 1932. I'll give you a little tour. It's freaking so cool. <laughs> We've just left Washington Alpine Club, had a nice little rest there and resupplied um, and we climbed out of Snoqualmie and everyone has told us that after Snoqualmie, north of Snoqualmie, it gets absolutely surreal and I think they're right. Everyone was concerned about fires in Washington because of both the hot, dry spring and the 2022 fire that closed the northern terminus. This is smoke. Really smoke down. We are basically running down the mountain at Stevens Pass. We're going to get a hitch into the Bavarian-themed town, Leavenworth. And Brayden is fanging for a schnitty. Right? Right. Straight off the PCT into Germany. We quit, we quit the PCT and we're in Germany now. I also picked up some new goodies, including a new backpack and a fishing rod because I'd heard tales of an elusive golden trout found only in the Sierra. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. It is raining and foggy and cold, and windy, and we can't see any of the views, but it's what it is. Caught a fish, saw a baby marmot, and now the sun is starting to come out. Oh my god. Looks good. See the blue sky? We haven't seen blue sky in three days. Edit. We've also just had coffees. So, got the zoomies. I wonder where that creeps us into. Dumpster, how many miles have we walked? How many miles? 2,000. 2,000 miles. Check. 600 go. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. You know, my sister's used to do too. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you look like your king, your French king in the 17th century. Stahikin was our last resupply before pushing to the border, and it was pandemonium. It's all systems go around here. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> So adventure update, we've saved this for today because yesterday was a bit of a, an exciting day. So we spent most of yesterday trying to outrun a forest fire that started as we crossed Rainy Pass. But we got news last night that immediately after we crossed Rainy Pass, they closed the trail south to Stahican. So we've only just made it through. Within hours. We've since got word that there are, there's, there are no fires and there are no closures, so... Canada, here we come. Canada, here we come. 0.3 miles! We knew reaching the terminus would be bittersweet, but we were excited nonetheless. We turned around and started our road trip back to California, with a few important stops along the way. We were heading back to finish the remaining 580 miles, finishing at the summit of Mount Whitney, our personal terminus. Soon we were back on trail and everyone was 100% focused on the dog, I mean job. Careful, Morris. I like sitting on rocks. Okay. Finally getting to the good part. It's only taken us 2,200 miles, but finally. Yes, all the rest of it. Alpine Meadows looks a little bit different. And the last time we were here on skis. And the mime is putting on his makeup. I think that's just the nature of the boat. We're in desolation wilderness. And getting our first Sierra storm. Actually, no, we've had many the few days we've been in. Not always sunshine and rainbows. For the first time since 1939, a hurricane hit California. A local trail angel was kind enough to take in our entire 11 member group. They treated us like family. We had hot showers, did our laundry, and made a family feast. September. Cliff jump, dumpster, walrus, gazelle. Most importantly, the hunt was still on for the elusive golden trout. Did you catch anything? Ten Ooh, minutes. he's big! <laughs> you get 10 minutes. Sure, too easy. Done. He's big. He's a big guy. Look at him. Good size. Rainbow. But alas, not a golden. We did it. We're here, at least. Again, this is it not raining on the PCT. Is this hail? This is hail! This is hail! This is it not hailing on the PCT. <laughs> The rain and hail are not so bad when you have all of your friends right there with you. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. The rain and hail has sort of let up. We joke about it not raining on the PCT. Like 
we very well know that it does. Um, you know, this is the mountains. This is backcountry in simple terms. Just embrace the suck. Just embrace it. Nothing you can really do. <laughs> but your mindset you can change. Come on, you gotta turn. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, I can finish. I can put it inside. I don't have it. <laughs> It's not often that you find yourself in Yosemite National Park and the whole family managed to score half dome permits. Wait, so there's a show you the hand yeah, where it's actually recording. come off an epic, <laughs> epic side quest in Yosemite Valley. Went up Half Dome yesterday, so we're actually completely stuffed. And today we're going over Donahue Pass, which is the first major pass I think of the Sierra. It seems that way anyway. Had an extremely cold night. All of our stuff froze, and both of the bear cans froze closed. So we have to wait, wait for brekkie. Got back on at Mammoth. We are just at Silver Pass now. I'm really struggling. We have food all the way until Kearsarge. So my pack has quite literally never been heavier. Coming up to Selden Pass, very quick. There's a storm brewing, so I'm trying to be quick. This is the theme in the Sierra. I was quickly running out of time to score my prize golden trout. So many fish in these alpine lakes. You can just look from the shore or probably even from here and see the fish swimming around. That's why, one of the reasons why we're so happy that we did the flip this way. And the lakes are actually lakes and not completely frozen, covered in snow. But is it golden? <gasps> Whoa! That's a golden Whoa! baby. Whoa! Look at his color. That's a golden, that's what we want. So cool. That's a freaking golden then. <laughs> Look at him. Catch it for me. Catch it for me. 6.30 a.m. Holy cow. Are you seeing this? What? The actual. It was time to tie up the only loose end for us and finally complete the PCT. Mount Whitney was waiting for us just over the horizon. Double pass day. Double pass day. Too far. Easily. Two pass Tuesday. It's Friday. <laughs> I think. We only have to go all the way over there. Not far. Loved it. Let's do two passes every day. We are. <laughs> yeah. We are tomorrow as well. So we've just come back from our very last ever town stop, resupply in Bishop, and we had like the most quintessential PCT day. We stayed in the cheapest hotel in town had the biggest breakfast at the diner. We ran into so many hikers that we hadn't seen for a long time. And then we had Trail Angel take us all the way back to- World famous Trail Angel. World famous. Outside um, Jay. Outside Jay, shout out. Um, super grateful for this experience and pumped for the next three days. Finish it off. What you looking at?
We had been acclimatizing to the thin air for weeks, but Forrester Pass is no joke. Hello views. Where is Whitney though? Finally, we were here. We set up our tent for the last time on trail. It means no more miles, no more summits, no more resupplies, no more trail family. We were at the end of our journey. We did it. This is it. It's all over. We did it. <laughs> to all the haters who said we wouldn't do it, look at us now. We are literally leaving the mountains behind us. And that's us done. 2,655 miles.